Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and I have come up with another very amazing problem. It is rotating paraboloid. It's an original problem. Guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together. And uh, my current courses on Unacademy are uh, INPHO Foundation and J Advanced 2023 started on Feb 9th. Guys, it's a very amazing course and uh, one of its kind in whole of India. So... Uh, Please inform all the relevant people in uh, your circle, those who are interested towards Olympiads. And a uh, series of mock tests uh, for JE Mains 2021 uh, started already and uh, uh, it will be conducted in uh, special classes. Tonight also there will be a uh, mock uh, test. It will be mock test too. So those who are writing JE 2021, please attend this test and uh, another one is uh, advanced course on electrostatics for je 2022 it uh, starts today uh, at uh, 2 pm and guys you can access my theory courses which are of uh, advanced plus plus level and uh, you can definitely boost your j preparation and uh, you can unlock uh, any test series or a paper or a class or lectures uh, by using my code Nitin sir, wherever it is prompting for some invite code or uh, uh, passcode, you can use the code Nitin sir. And for more information, you can visit www.unacademy.com. And guys, trust me, physics will never be the same again. So here is the statement of uh, this problem. Uh, there is a paraboloidal vessel having a liquid of density D0 up to a certain height H as shown. So liquid is up to a height of uh, 3h uh, by 4. The paraboloidal vessel is rotating about uh, the y-axis with a given angular velocity of omega naught. The dimension of paraboloidal vessel are uh, shown in the figure. Uh, so here the overall height is h and the radius uh, at the top is capital R. Assume the gravity to be uniform. Uh, so we need to find number one force applied by the liquid on the vessel when liquid is at uh, when vessel is at rest and number two the minimum angular velocity for which liquid will spill out of the vessel so guys here concept part is uh, we are going to use some standard results like in many of my videos and in my classes also have uh, told you that this is a standard formula you must remember volume of paraboloid is a half pi r square h and uh, uh, for this parabola, we can find out the equation. It must be of the form of y is equal to kx square uh, since it is opening uh, along the y-axis. And at topmost point when radius is uh, capital R, height is h. So this point must be satisfying the parabola. So I'll get the actual equation of this parabola which is going to be uh, h is equal to kr square. If I use this relation, I am going to get uh, y is equal to h by r square times x square so we have found the value of uh, k so now actual parabola equation is known to us in in terms of given parameter r and h so radius of uh, open liquid surface also we can uh, calculate by using uh, this parabola equation since here this height is 3 h by 4 as you can see here this height is 3 h by 4 so this radius is small r i can find out using this parabola equation i'll substitute y is equal to 3 h by 4 and uh, when i simplify this in parabola equation i am getting this radius uh, r as root 3 by 2 cap times capital r so from here i can write the volume of liquid which is uh, present in the vessel so that is another paraboloid half pi r square and height of this so this will be small r square that's the reason we have calculated uh, this relation here so if you substitute this uh, small r value here and uh, simplify the volume of liquid which is going to come as uh, it is going to come uh, as uh, vl is equal to 9 pi r square h by 32 this is the volume of the liquid so for the first part it becomes very very easy now uh, so force by the liquid on the vessel we can directly say since vessel is balancing this uh, liquid definitely liquid must be applying a force equal to its weight mg so we know the den uh, density and we know the uh, value of volume so rho liquid times 9 pi r square h by 32 g this is going to be the answer for first part which is uh, force applied by the liquid on the vessel now for the second part second part here when liquid is uh, about to uh, spill during this when this vessel is rotated 
so we already know from our uh, fluids uh, results that it is going to take shape of a parabola or it will be surface of another parabola inside this and its equation we know it is going to be omega square r square by 2g or a new axis i am defining here capital x and capital y so this is going to be capital y is equal to omega square capital x square by 2g and let's say this distance is h1 if this distance is h1 uh, the uh, the point h uh, this point capital r comma h1 must be satisfying uh, this parabola equation which we have derived here just now so i am going to get this first equation as h1 is equal to omega square r square by 2g this is equation number one for us all right now i can uh, easily say the volume of liquid is going to be same as uh, before so this much volume it can be easily calculated by using uh, by using the volume of two different paraboloids bigger paraboloid minus smaller paraboloid if you do that i am going to get this as a half pi r square capital h minus half pi capital r square h1 and uh, this volume must be equal to the earlier volume which i have calculated here volume of liquid both must be same so let's equate these two uh, and a uh, lot of terms are going to get cancelled pi r square and 2 so i am going to get 9h by 16 and that must be equal to h minus h1 so if you simplify this h1 is going to come as uh, 1 minus 9 by 16 times h which is going to be 7h by 16 so once i know this value that h1 is going to be 7h by 16 here now this value of h1 i will be substituting in uh, this particular equation which uh, we have satisfied in the new paraboloid on the uh, for the surface of this uh, liquid so when i do that i am going to get omega square r square by 2g is equal to 9, uh, 7h by 16 so when i further simplify it omega is going to come as root 7gh by 8r square this is going to be the omega minimum for which a liquid will just spill out of uh, the vessel if we increase the omega it is going to be uh, definitely come out of the vessel so this is the answer for second part guys i hope you have enjoyed this uh, problem it's a very unique and very nice application here and if you have enjoyed this problem please uh, share this problem with others give a like and uh, uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem thanks for watching it